Hello, my name is William Rhodes. I am the Intergenerational Director at the Dr. George W. Davis Senior Center. Through my program, I've been able to foster many projects. I've been focusing on the intergenerational projects with the youth and the seniors. Um, one project that we did, this is the month of February, and students on their own decided to produce amazing Valentine's Day cards. This is one of the cards and it reads, Life is bright and this is going to go to one of our seniors um, if any of the seniors feel shut in or feel left out the students were thinking about them and they they love them so they were able, on their own decided to produce these amazing cards so. hello my name is mary fleming i've been coming to dr davis center for about 20 years my husband started coming and then after i retired i started coming it's been about 20 years. They have several programs here. And uh, I picked a card from a guy, a person named Jason. By him signing, a, or her signing this card, I chose this one and I love the flowers because I love flowers. I do other things at Dr. Davis Center, like playing drums before the academic started and I learned how to make jewelry and knit, dance, line dance. I learned a lot from Dr. Davidson. Mr. Davis and my husband, Mr. Albert Fleming, were a good uh, bingo player, domino players and card players. Hello, my name is Marissa Bergman. I am an art teacher at MLK Middle School. Um, I'm also an artist, a singer, performer myself. Um, and I'm really honored and thrilled to be working with the Senior Center here. Um, Mr. Rhodes has been an amazing partner who came to me through a partnership with Yerba Buena Center for the Arts um, via Rebecca Rodriguez. Um, so I'm, yeah, I just am really honored to be connected to beautiful people with beautiful hearts um, who want to genuinely lift the community um, and bring my wonderful young people into the picture as well. Um, so the project we've been working on has been making cards that would go into the meals that are being distributed for kind of Valentine's Day, um, but I asked my young students to create individual artworks um, that would brighten uh, the person who's receiving it their day and make them feel better during this time. Um, I emphasize the fact that we don't know who is going to be reading each card, right? Every single person has a different story and a different circumstance. Some of them might be living with their family, some of them may have experienced death, some may have um, a lot of joy in their life right now, some may be very isolated, um, but kind of across the board we can empathize because we've all been going through a really hard time of isolation and so um, just as a baseline just to have that compassion and empathy that we don't know what's going on but no matter what is going on we can make someone's day brighter um, and my students have really taken that and run with it um, and uh, if my eyes look red it's because I was just watching a reaction video of um, someone reading one of the cards and it was very special and, and that's just, I guess, all we could hope for right now is to connect and to make each other feel better and to lift each other up and tell each other it's going to be okay, that we're going to get through this. Um, and, yeah. Hi, I'm Jerry Hill and I live here in the uh, center at Dr. George Davis and I am so happy to be involved with this program, working with the children of the intergenerations and I have uh, done many um, programs with them and I was so glad to receive this card. I work with children most of my adult life and um, this card mean a lot and I thought it was so creative. It has the moose on there and it said, I must tell you, you are loved. And I'd like to tell all the children that I love you back. I love you more. It's been an honor working with this project, working with this program, um, and I just hope everyone can enjoy the intergenerational programs which will continue to happen at the Dr. George W. Davis Senior Center. Thank you.